as I was saying, lazy people like to hang together. I, I figured this out over time, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I was younger. But you see it all the time. You know, like, you go to a store. It don't matter how many times you go to this store, you see the same two people out there. You could have made a full-time, you could have worked a full-time job by now. How long you been standing at this store? It's always the same folks. The misery little company. And then you know when you're slothful and you you stop, you know, working, now you start thinking about deceitful things. That's why God wants you to work and provide for yourself. Slothful people start thinking about quick schemes. How to get over on somebody. It's true. I'm sorry. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Real Christians know, even, this is the crazy thing. Even non-righteous people call on the Lord sometimes. They do. The rich man's wealth is in his strong city. And is in high wall in his own conceit. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He that answer for a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. You know, like when you go to when people go to court, they gotta hear multiple sides of a story. You know, I, this is what I hate. People who like hear one side of the story and then just oh, you ignorant fool. You don't even know what the true side of the story. I done seen people die like that. Sister didn't call somebody. Brother, brother, he just beat my butt. They went over there, find out nothing happened. Then the brother get whooped by the husband. And now he looking like a fool. You got beat up for nothing. Y'all better be careful, mind your own business. Nobody can put his hands on my sister. Let me tell you something. I'm no woman beater. And I have placed my hands on a woman before. It was justified. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. If you don't know what's going on in my house, and you come to me, at my house, on my domain, I don't care if you're the mama. I don't care if you're the daddy. I don't care if you're the uncle. The brother or the sister. You might get something worse by coming to confront me about what's going on in my house than you think. I'm just saying, people have died like this. Mine is their own, mind your own business. You understand? Because if a mother want to leave somebody, they'll just leave. You understand? You ain't got to be a part of it. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for my life. Whatever. If you was afraid for your life, you'll leave. I'm just being real with you. A lot of times when couples argue, they do all kinds of things. Women hit men all the time. Nobody say nothing about it. But let a man backslap a woman. Oh, I hear people all the time. A man should never hit a woman. Where y'all get this joke from? I don't know where y'all get it from. You understand? I know the Bible says turn the other cheek. I know this. And slow the anger and all these things. And, but sometimes in a heat of an argument, a heat of things, you might do something you regret. It doesn't make you a woman beater. You know what a woman beater is to me? Somebody come home all the time. Just backslap the hell out of their wife. Backslap the hell out of their husband for that sake. Okay? The food ain't ready yet. Hard duking. You know, just straight up. Woman beater. One thing men know about women, they'll provoke you and say the worst things in your face. Your boy, y'all women can say some things. You remember on Tyler Perry movies? A family that prays together. And this dude, the whole time, he thinking it's his son. And then she come up there and they were sitting at the bar. And she come over there and she was like, that's not your son, it's so-and-so's son. And the dude has never was a woman beater in his life, but... He reached back with the power of Samson and slapped her over the countertop. She deserved it. She deserved that slap. Sometimes people deserve a good slap. 
what he just said about, I just read something about that. I just read something about that recently. Hold up, let me find it. A fool's lips enter into intention and his mouth calling for strokes. <laughs> A fool. Did he say a foolish man's lips enter into contention and his mouth calling for strokes? He said a fool's lips enter contention and his mouth calling for strokes. His mouth calling for strokes. Bop! Shut the hell up. You understand? <laughs> I'm talking too much now. Keep talking. Keep talking. Trying to walk away. <laughs> I'm just real with y'all, people. They think a, a woman's gonna just say what they she wanted to say. You understand? I'm telling you, people. Your your words hurt just like a man's words, and normally your words hurt 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 worse than a man's. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent get of knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. Gift. A man's gift. Find out what your gifts are. Pray to the Lord about it. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just. But his neighbor come up and search of him. Think about that. Like, you have no, you think what you're doing is always right. You don't have no counsel. You just, it's right. But then the truth come out. The lack cause of contentions to cease. And part of between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. Forgive people that trespass. If you forgive those who trespass against you, a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. Did you hear that? You know it's hard to get back on good terms with people after you do crazy stuff. <laughs> and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. They shut themselves up. Boom, boom, boom. You know, like, ha ha. I won't fall victim to that again. Got a shield up. But certain people come around like Poosh! armor. You're like, uh You think I forgot what you do? <laughs> a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. Or your mouth is gonna be satisfied with strokes. I just <laughs> And with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. There it is. Lord, I knew you was going to give me something good today. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and attain a favor of the Lord. Act like a wife. Yeah, if you find a wife, find a good thing. Who don't want a wife? I love, I would love to have one right now. Fuck. I don't want one with a deadly tongue. Lord Jesus, deliver me from evil. You remember that movie, Deliver Us from Evil? Oh, Dwayne Wade need to be saying that right now about getting rid of you. It's all right, Pete. No filter, no filter. Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith, you need to be like, Deliver me from evil. Keep Jada's name. Anyway. The poor uses entreaties, but the rich answer roughly. A man that have friends must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Let's go back to the fruit. Certain things that stand out with me, people. I'm sorry. I ain't know for real. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. 
Hey, people, let me tell you something. I was watching, um, I was, I love Cat Williams. I love him. But, you know, like, he's funny. He's, but I think he just sold out. Why do I say that? At least I was watching this world, last special last night, World War Three, And normally I watch something all the way through. I will. You know, if it's funny, it's funny. But he started talking about Christians. Then he started talking, giving his interpretation of the Bible. And trying to basically say, basically say the Bible is a lie. But then at the beginning of the, of, the, of the show, he was like, science, I believe in science and God. You know, I just got to figure out who, what God you're talking about, homie. Because uh, you done got on my bad time now. You done got on my bad side, cat. I should have known when I saw them lightning bolts and them stars on your outfit that you had turned against my master. It's weird why you, when you was waking up, running around crazy and getting slapped and beat up by little kids. You understand? I guess they knocked some screws loose in you. You understand? But anyway, I turned it. A voice in my head said, turn it off. So I did. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Certain things you just don't play with. But Cat Williams will find out very soon. He done crossed the wrong one. And I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about the Lord. He was, he was talking about the conspiracy that Eve slept with the snake, the serpent. Oh, she committed bestiality. Yeah, right. He said the fruit was her womb. Well, I guess, I think he uh, misinterpreted the scripture. Because he said there was multiple trees out there. So you mean, so there's a most of human beings out there? You know, I'm just, somebody else told me that before. It just don't make sense. There was multiple trees out there. But that one tree don't eat off of. So that means you can have oranges. You can sleep with it. <laughs> Sleep with every other tree in the forest except that one tree right there. Uh, don't make sense. Some people don't interpret the Bible right. And Cat Williams, I care about you. I love you. You're my prayers, homie. But you might well get ready for a rude awakening. You're already looking bad on there. I'm just being real. It's all right, though. I just won't be listening to you no more. You know, at one point in time, you was waking up. Like they didn't slept you back up. They wanted they. You couldn't, you couldn't handle not having the fame and fortune anymore. So, hey, I need you to get up there and, 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 and make sure you make fun of Christians. Stupid. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you're going to speak some truth, speak the truth. I don't like theories. I don't. Certain parts of the Bible are straightforward. Certain parts are a little confusing. That's why you study so yourself approved. He might have read the Bible or had some wicked counselors around. Because I didn't heard that before. The same thing that he said, I didn't heard before. So he think he came up with something new. I didn't heard that junk seven years ago, homie. That's old. You better grow up some more. That's why you're going through so much hell and high water now. That's why a lot of y'all are going through so much hell and high water. By what y'all say about the word. <laughs> Life and death are the power of the tongue. I heard people, you know, Jesus had a, had kids. That's the, the super bloodline. Well, why nobody else ain't walking on water right now? Shut the hell up. If you don't know what you're talking about, if you ain't fact check your facts, shut the hell up. I ain't going to hear you. You understand? I really ain't. You know what I'm saying? Fact check, boys and girls. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You know, most comedians are run by the tongue. You know, it's it's okay if you say it what's true. I love a good story. I love a good joke every once in a while. But some things you just don't joke about. And my Lord, and my... Uh, he probably going to be in the song. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm on a proud now, boy. I'm just really... I'm just really sick and tired of this world and it's these liars up there but you know he started off so good he was like there's lies and there's the truth there's lies and the truth so he, he led to you got to see the code he led to christianity basically we've been living a lie our whole lives yeah right cat wearing with them tight pants on you're a man 
You a man, homie. I got long hair too, but I don't dress like a woman. You know, anyway, enough about Cat Williams. He just came to my mind off of that. But you know, like I tell people all the time, you can destroy your home, you can destroy your character with the words you speak. You know, I don't think you can bring, he said, life and death in the power of the tongue. Life, God give it to us. We got life. We can't change the plans that God has for us. He has a plan for all of us. But that tongue, what you say, what you speak, can shorten your lifespan. You understand? It can lead to a death that surpasses all understanding. Especially for you people who don't understand the word. You understand? Keep talking about man. Let me set up for you. Let me slow saying. Slow. My last marriage, you know why I ended? I'm going to tell you why. That's this right here. This right here. I'm just glad we're on good terms now. We're on our speaking basis. But this right here. These lips, boy. They caused it. And they can. A lot of y'all destroy. He said, a wise man builds his house. A wise woman builds their house. But a fool destroys it with his own hands or his own mouth. He said a lot of things. You know, I, I gave you a lot of stories. If you look back on the videos, you know, hey, be careful who you let in your house. Be careful what spiritual energy you let in your house. Be careful what's being spoken in your house. A tail bearer? That's the mouth. A food that avoids destruction? That means listening to words that come out of somebody else's mouth. Life and death in the power of the tongue. A lot of y'all are seeking death because you don't want to listen to wise counsel. Or your mouth is just overly wicked. And you'll... And you wonder why sometimes somebody just pop up out of nowhere and just straight hadouking you in the face. Or tiger uppercut you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you, you wonder why that happens sometimes. He ain't do nothing but say it that. He said the wrong thing. You remember back in the day, I had a friend. And nobody knew his mother was in a wheelchair, but I knew. Because we grew up. Michael Harper. I ain't seen him in a while. I wonder how he doing. You know what I'm saying? And um, he came from out of town and he knew martial arts and stuff like that. You know, he was a little different from us down here in the South. But uh, we knew his mother was in it and he took that to heart. And if somebody said somebody's mother, it was on. It was on, boy. You know. And a lot of times, that's why you got to use the sermon. Be careful what you say. God don't like jesting for real. He don't. He don't like making fun of folks just to make other people laugh. I love comedians. I'm funny myself. I joke all the time. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I know how to joke with certain people. I know who I can joke with and I know who I can't. You understand? I know what to say, when to say it. I'm a, I'm like, I'm more like this kind of joker, right? Let's put it this way. He said, life and death is the power of the tongue. You better be careful what you say around me. Use your words very wisely. I'm somebody you call like a punchline king. You know, you say something, you better be careful what you say around me because I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back with something. Let me pause and I will continue.